everybody. Basically what I've got here um, <clears throat> is I'm making a uh, pork tenderloin uh, roast and um, I threw a couple of carrots in there but it's going to be a sweet and sour pork tenderloin roast. Um, on the top I've got uh, uh, bell peppers, green bell peppers with a little bit of garlic in it. Um, I kind of eyeball it. I use about about two or three cloves, small cloves of garlic. Um, and I'll be putting some ginger in, which I need to get ready. So I've got a little uh, food processor here that we'll uh, bring in and we'll mix, we'll mix those right quick. You just want to dice those up. And I'll use probably about two or three tablespoons. Kind of look at it, eyeball it. I just want enough. It's a big roast, so I definitely, uh, and we love ginger, so it never hurts to. And we'll spread it around a little bit, but I like it diced and kind of small. Do that, and of course I'm gonna do have some rice, yellow rice with this, with some ham and maybe some egg rolls and stuff, and do that. So I'm gonna I won't have to use all of it. I'll probably use more on that. But we're gonna top it with some pineapple, which is just one can. And we're going to pour our sauce on. The sauce will be on our re my recipe page of Angela's Cooking Up Trouble. So you'll have to find it there. But I'm going to pour on the sauce. And I'll cook this. Probably about 350 for about two and a half. I'm sorry, two two hours maybe. Could be two hours and and uh, 30 minutes. You'll have to check it. You can pretty much when it runs clean, you know it's done. I'm just gonna sprinkle a few onions on it and a few green onions. So it'll be kind of colorful. You want it colorful and pretty. Taste is everything. Then, I definitely want that citrusy taste. So I'm going to put some orange slices on. Usually they'll stay on. Even if they go down, it's not going to hurt anything. And a little bit of lime. There we go. I've already salted and peppered it also. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover it up and I'm going to stick it in the oven. And then uh, I'll get back to you to show you the end result. Um, I have extra sweet and sour sauce to go on it, but I might have to end up flipping this um, through the process. So I'll just kind of uh, use some tongs to get the oranges and limes off, and then I'll flip it because I want to make sure that sweet and sour sauce, which runs down to the bottom, also gets on, cooked on the top too. And then I'll put the oranges and stuff back on the top. Alright, I'll see y'all in a little bit. 